channel. So today I'm gonna be doing my shop my stash. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let's just get right on into a lot the of video. Products, um, this week because I am trying out so many new products. For moisturizer, I'm gonna be using my Tarte Brighter Days Little Moisturizer, Highlighted Moisturizer. Um, I got this as a Sephora 100 point perk <laughs> this weekend and like I've tried it a couple of times and I'm obsessed with it. It's like this beautiful, like sheen to it, don't mind the other swatches, but um, it has like this beautiful sheen to it. It's basically like a, like I said, like a highlighting moisturizer. It's eye cream, uh, this is gonna be like all my Shop My Sass videos because I use it every day. This is the Pure Hydrogel Lift. You guys probably already know. This is my Holy Grail tried and true. And just a little eye gel stick. And I use this as my eye cream before I put my makeup on. I use a different eye cream when I do my eye cream at nighttime because I do use a more heavier, um, heavy duty eye cream at nighttime. This is more like lightweight, perfect for before you're doing your makeup. And it is amazing. Primer, I'm gonna be using this actually. I got this during the of 21 Days of Beauty. It's currently happening right now. Like I've been buying a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. So far from um, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, it's still going on. So Fair Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Primer. I don't know if I mentioned this primer on my channel before, but it is amazing. And they revamped the packaging. The packaging used to be very different, but I tried this before and I loved it and I ran out of it. So I thought I would get it during the sale because it had like all Bare Minerals primers 50% off. And then since I started makeup, for foundation, I have Sheer Glow Foundation. I haven't used this in forever like it to mont i don't know what that says you can read it for yourself oh yeah i haven't you i haven't used this in forever i'm thinking it was okay like i didn't think it was amazing I remember even like my thoughts on it so i really want to look back like try it again and see my actual thoughts on it because concealer i have two concealers this is actually brand new i got this in the mail yesterday i placed a huge wet and wild order because i saw that they had lots and lots of new stuff. I don't know if I'm, I think I'm late on this game, but I think this came out like a, like three months ago, all this stuff, like their photo focus line. I only got their, I only have their foundation. I had that foundation for a while when it first came out, but like I always went to my Walgreens, CVS's, Rite Aid's, and they never had anything else except for the foundation and the powder. I only have those two, the foundation and the powder from the, the whole line. And those are the only two that my stores had. But they recently just randomly, like I went to Walgreens and then they recently had like basically all the stuff. But that was after I ordered my big order. So I was kind of like, oh, I should have got it. Like I should have checked before I actually ordered it. And while Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory, like a nice packaging. Like the packaging seems really nice. Like it's like, it isn't plastic. It's like... I like it, like it's smooth by the touch and I really like the way it feels, I really like it. Um, I just realized that my face is darker than my neck, so I'm sorry if that annoys you. I, I think I bronzed too much or something because, or my foundation was too dark, I'm sorry about that. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys know in future videos if I'm ending up liking this. And if I don't like that concealer, I will go to this one. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer. I haven't reached for this in a while, so, since it's not my stash, since it's not my stash is for testing, like getting use of everything each week. I, um, this is like super creamy. It's way better than the Wet n Wild one that I tried out. It's the Wet n Wild Cover All Conceal. I think it's something like that. I think that was my disappointing video or some of my disappointing products video I did a while ago. But I do not like that concealer at all. It's super dry and not creamy at all. But this is the opposite. It glides on. Ready? I'll do it right side. It glides on like butter. Like, and it gives you beautiful coverage. I have three powders I'm gonna be using this week. I have a lot of new powders, and two of them I actually got during the um, 21 Days of Beauty. Eric Geller um, Filter Finish Set and Powder Universal. It's really nice. It looks like it would be like, like a really glowy powder. Doesn't it look like it would be a perfect, like 
natural highlight. I'm gonna try it. Ready? With my fingers. I already have highlight on, so you can't, like I can't really tell. But like, this looks like it would be a nice, like subtle highlight. I love. Oh my god. I feel like my glow just went over the top. I really like this, and I think it would just make my skin look glowy. I heard good things about this, and it looks really pretty in the pan. Like, oh, I can just stare at that all day. It's a like, Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder in the shade F P F One. Um, this is the lightest shade. I use this today underneath my eyes and all over my face. I don't know my full thoughts on it quite yet. I do like the way it made my skin look. I just gotta test it out a little bit more. Mercy A translucent. Um, Lucid Shed and Powder in the Translucent. You guys know this is my holy grail. I use it to bake almost every day. So I've been liking just like lightly dusting my face with powder. I haven't been baking that much, which is weird, but um, I mostly use it and I love it. It's just my holy grail. So eyebrows, I'm gonna be using my Essence Make Me Gra Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in the shade 02 Browy. Brownie brows, <laughs> um, but I but last I think last time my stash video I used the Benefit um, Gimme Brow and I love that as well. But I want to try use this one up because I'm almost out of it. I think I only have a tiny bit left, and I haven't even I even I didn't even do my brows today. That's how much I haven't been like and do my brows. Sorry if I'm going out of order. I think I might be, <laughs> but for eyeshadow primer I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. 24-hour anti-crease eyeshadow, wait, 24-hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. I'm almost out of this, like, I'm, like, toward, like, I'm, like, right here, like, no, right here. And I am really close to finish this, so I'm hoping to finish up soon because it's a little sample. It's not this big in real life, don't worry. It's a favorite, but it's not bad. I just think it's okay. It's not the, it's like a, it's almost like a gel kind of, um, consistency eyeshadow. I have a bunch of things I'm gonna be using for eyeshadow, but my main thing I'm gonna be using is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I I used this last week as well, but I thought I would use. I haven't done a review on it yet. I haven't had a chance this week, so next week I'm hoping to do a review on it. Oh my god, guys, this smells so good. I love the smell of this. Using a ton. I don't have it on my eyes today, but I have been using it so much lately, and I. Almost have my full dots on it. I don't have them yet. I test it a little bit more this week so I can get my full dots to do that review for you guys coming up soon. And Wild Color Icon um, Eyeshadow Trio in the shade Heodrologic Heart. I don't know what that says at all. You can see for yourself. I don't. I can't read that. This seems really nice. I I haven't used this at all yet. I only swatched it. Really nice. I don't know like how pigmented they are like by like like they, they seem like pretty pigmented this is the one that appealed to me the most out of the bunch um but they seem like not that pigmented to be honest like they seem kind of sheer to me um but it always depends what how it looks like on the eyes it can look different from the swatches than on the eyes this could be amazing on the eyes but it couldn't swatch that good same way around so i don't know maybelline expert wear eyeshadow yeah expert wear eyeshadow in the shade nude glow it's so pretty i haven't used this yet i haven't even touched it oh my god it's gonna be first impressions like i haven't touched this yet <gasps> that is gorgeous look at that oh my that is drugstore <gasps> guys Run now and get this. I'm not just, I, I don't know how it's gonna look on the eyes, but I already can tell this is gonna be cool. <gasps> I can't stop swatching it. This is gorgeous. Are you serious? Guys, that's drugstore. I'm sorry. I'm actually gonna be testing this out. This is also by Maybelline. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. Uh, eye Chrome in the shade. Beige Luster. I have this on my eyelids today. I haven't used this in forever. This is 
gorgeous. Look, look at that sheen. Oh my god. And I have another shade, which is like a pinky one. But I have another thing, another eyeshadow like liquid. I'm gonna be testing it out. It's a glitter. Um, so and like it's the same similar shade as the other one. So I thought I wouldn't. I would just use this one instead. Got my hands on. Mhm. Mm I got my hands on the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Ballet Baby. I went to Ulta um, one day and I was like swatching all of them and I was like, this color screamed to me. No one talks about this color. I feel like everyone talks about the other colors and all the smoky browns and all the rose golds. But I'm like, this color is amazing. I swatched it in the store. I was like, this is amazing and of course they were all sold out except for a black one <laughs> like all the black ones were in stock except like all the other ones were out of stock except for like the black like no one would want the black on their eyes obviously it feels like it's really smoky eye but not for like an everyday person i'm sorry this is not a this is like a liquid eyeshadow but it's like a, more of a glitter than the maybelline but this is like, look how blinding that is. It's blinding. Let me know if you want a video, like a first... <gasps> Let me know if you want a video of a full face of first impressions. I would love to do that video. I know a lot of YouTubers have been doing that. The Maybelline Master Cocky Cream Coal Liner. I know last week I just used black eyeshadow, but this week I thought I would just use an actual eyeliner because it's probably be more convenient. Um, as you can see, the tip kind of broke off. It was more pointy, and it's weird this eyeliner is shaped. It's like a like weird, like it's almost like it goes up instead of like a pencil eyeliner. That makes it is gorgeous. It's like my holy grail eyeliner. I mascara. I'm just gonna be using two mascaras. Wet and Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. I heard mixed reviews about this. I just want to try it out for myself. I haven't tried this out at actual upper lash mascara. I'm going to be using the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara. I think it's like, oh, like the writing. I use this so much that the writing came off of it. Mascara, I've been using this forever and I love it. Now moving on to the rest of the face. I'm going to, for bronzer, I'm going to be using two bronzers. One like more on the contour side, but more on the, this more on the bronzy side. Meanwhile, Mega Cushion Contour in the shade Cafe Esle. How does that look? Let me put it like right here. Uh, it looks okay. It looks a little bit warm. Okay, so for my bronzer to bronze up my skin, I'm just going to use that on my contour. And then for my bronzer, I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. I, this is my tried and true, my holy grail. Oh my god. This reminds me of like when I was in Aruba at the summertime. Like Aruba. Oh. Uh, I can just like, live in this. Like. The smell is amazing. <laughs> Love this for my skin tone. It is gorgeous. It's the perfect shade for me. Like, it is gorgeous for me. Like, the shade is amazing. It makes my skin look so bronze. Blush. First, I'm going to be using, using the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Plum Rose. I thought since I was using the butter bronzer, I would use the butter blush. If that blush doesn't work for me, I'm going to be going to this palette for blush. This is the Narcissus. NAR Unfiltered 2 Palette. I got this a long time ago. I just never having a chance to review it for you guys. Um, I've been using it a ton, but I'm going to be using the some of the blushes. I actually have three highlights I'm going to be using this week. I know, I have a lot of new highlights I'm going to be testing out this week. I got this a couple days ago. This is the Becca Shimmer and Skin Perfector Press in the shade Amethyst. I think that's how you say it. Prismetic at... Prismetic... Pr pr I don't know how to say that. Pr here you can see oh you can see yourself um but it's like prismatic prismatic amethyst i don't know how to say it but i have rose quartz it actually shattered i don't know if i told you guys in one of my videos but like if i said it on my instagram but i broke my rose quartz um on the floor like, i love the highlighter it's just i'm so i was so sad when it shattered but i'm glad i fixed it this came out with another shade which i'm like so excited about it's this beautiful, look at this packaging. Oh, I love these. I love the way they do the limited edition packaging. Like, Rose Quartz packaging was amazing as well. Oh, it is so buttery. It's exactly like Rose Quartz. It has, like, the same pattern on the pan, too. I don't know if you guys noticed. It. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, I just want to put this right now. Oh, my God. 
I just want to put this right on. I have like so many top of highlighters right now. I have like so much on. Oh, that is that is gorgeous, you guys. You guys, this is gorgeous. The next thing I have uh, is actually on my cheeks today before I put that um, uh, other highlight, which is gorgeous. Smashbox Casey X Casey Home Spotlight Palette in the shade Pearl. They had a gold one, but I feel like that was too dark for me. But I only got the pearl one because I feel like this would be right for my skin tone. But I love Kat Casey Holmes. I feel like I mention her a lot on my YouTube channel because she's like my favorite person ever. She's so sweet and like loving. I love her. I have been using this a ton lately. I'm going to do a review for you guys up soon if it's still in stock. And i just been loving them. And these look go all so gorgeous. And they just, oh, they're just so gorgeous. Um, look at that. Oh, love it. And they're so smooth. They make my skin look so glowy. I'm not going to spoil too much because I'm going to be pro hopefully doing a review if this is still in stock. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and the shade The Sweetest Bling. It's limited edition. I got this in the mail. I know they have a lavender one and then this one, but I've heard most good reviews on this one instead of the lavender one. I haven't tried this yet. I only swatched it. It looks gorgeous. I know you can like mix them together or just use this like the heart or you can just or you can just use the heart or you can do the outside this looks gorgeous look at that packaging oh, put on my brow bone even though I don't have like a bra are you serious that was my fingers are you guys serious oh wet and wild is not playing that is the most gorgeous highlight ever Lip scrub. I'm just going to be using my Holy Grail. This is probably going to be my all of my Shop My Sass videos. But this is my Lush Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. This is my Holy Grail. And it's just perfect. It moisturizes my lips and tastes amazing. And while Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Never, Never Petal It Down. I haven't tried this out yet. I only swatched it. Um, but it looks really pretty. It looks like a beautiful like pink. Like true pink. It is so creamy. That was one sweat. Ready? <gasps> that is so creamy. You. I know I used this last week, but I'm going to use it this week too because I've been loving it since I've been using it. It's just perfect. This is the MAC lipstick in the shade Fabby. I got this recently and it is amazing. If you saw the video, I, I explained it way more, but it is the perfect pink with a gold sheen. That was a bad swatch. But it's a, like a perfect pink with a gold sheen. It is gorgeous. I haven't been using I haven't used this in forever, so I thought I would use it. This is the Tarte Lip Sculptor in lipstick and lip gloss in the shade VIP. I loved it. I remember loving this when I used it. It's just one side's a lipstick and one side's a lip gloss. I remember loving this sh lipstick shade. This is like a perfect, like, um, it's almost like the Tarte liquid lipstick that I did wear to Astros have you on recently. It's really pretty. It's really pigmented. Like, well, bam. Um, but the gloss is, like, really pretty. I remember liking the gloss, too. Let's put it on top. <gasps> that is so pretty. The gloss is really pigmented. <gasps> NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Ripe Berry. And this, if I want to go for, like, a dark berry shade this week, I would go for this one because this... I haven't tested this out yet, but it looks so amazing and creamy. It looks like the right shade for me. Like It looks like an in-between of a red and a berry. It's creamy when I swatch it. Oh, that looks like a beautiful shade. And lipstick in the shade 450 Romantic Rose. I haven't used this in forever either. A lot of these in this Shop My Sass video I haven't used in forever. That's a good thing I'm using them this week. But this looks almost really similar to Fabby. I just thought of that. I think I just found myself a dupe. They look so similar. They're a little bit different, like I gotta say, but look how similar those look. I, the Maybelline one is a little bit more darker and purplier, but guys, look how similar. They, they have like the same sheen to them. <gasps> they are so similar. And my, the Fabby might be a little more pinky. Fabby by MAC, get the Maybelline one. Romantic Rose by Maybelline, if you don't want to buy spend like $20 or whatever MAC lipsticks are on on Fabby, get Maybelline. If you've been wanting Fabby, get Maybelline because it's way cheaper and look how similar those colors are. Oh my god. Rare test post review on this lip uh, liquid lipstick by Tarte. That video down below. I saw a little bit more. Look how similar those colors are. Look at that. That's the Tarte Lip Sculptor and look at the Tarte, like look at the um, 
the both by Tarte, I just realized that the lip sculptor and the look of lipstick, I was like, they both look like dupes, but they're like the same price, because they're both Tarte, but I think this was okay, it wasn't that great, honestly. It's not where it's supposed to be a video if you want more information about this, but you guys know how if I like this anymore, or if it's just not that great anymore, May. Shade Butter Kiss Lipstick in the shade 70 Nude Light to Medium. I have this on today. I I used this today. I used to love these, but like I felt like they were so heavy on me. If you watch my old videos, you guys know I used to love these. Um, and they kind of felt kind of heavy. Like, I don't know. Kind of heavy, but I don't know. I think they're nice. I, if you're on a budget, I think they're nice, but uh, affordable thing, but... Um, I thought I would just wear the shade this week because it's gorgeous and I never use these anymore. I never reach for them because I found things that are better. Or Set and Spray Acid Up 2. So, actually, I, if I don't want to use that primer, I'm going to be using it in this. This is the Mario Badescudo Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. I recently got this at Ulta and I used it today to set my makeup. And, guys, it is gorgeous. It, like, smells so great. Like, oh, the smell of this... Oh, it smells like green tea. I love green tea. You guys know, if you watch my old videos, I have, like, I love green, like, tea. Anything tea, I'm obsessed with. So, I've heard really good things about this brand and this facial spray. And I know they had a different one, like a rose water one. But I feel like this one, sm this one smells better. And this one looks like I would like it better because it has green tea in it. So, if I don't want to use that one, I'll use this one. This is the Fix Plus. And they say lavender scent. I, you guys know if you saw my last on my sass video that I used my regular Mac Fix Plus, the big one. But I didn't finish that one up. But I thought I would just go to this one because this one I used like once or like twice. But oh my god, I should have mixed those. But this, guys, look how much I've been using that so far. It is amazing. It smells so good. It just like makes my skin relax. Anything lavender, like lavender just calms me down, just like relaxes me. I love lavender and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.